Hi, I'm Teacher Im and I prepare videos to help my students score better in their STPM Maths T paper. In this video, we are going to be using completing the square before integrating rational functions. Shall we? Now, sometimes you will get equations like this where you need to integrate a rational function like so. Then when you differentiate here, it doesn't have any form of a uh, format that you can use in your integration yet. So to start this question, I will suggest that you do a completing the square. So in form 6, we do our completing the square very fast because time is very precious for STPM question. Okay, so what I suggest you to do is you just copy out the black color parts. Okay, this black one, the bracket, the x, and then the bracket and the squared, and a minus. You fix the minus there, and then plus 49 is what you have from the question. All right, so you prepare the black ones. The red ones is whatever uh, number in front of the x. You will square it, uh, you will divide it and put it inside the brackets. So if you have plus 14, like this case, you divide by 2, you got positive 7. So you will write that inside the bracket. Next thing is you will take this and then you will uh, square it and write it at the side. Okay, so you take whatever you have, including uh, the number. Okay, you don't take the uh, negative of just take the number you square it and put it over here so your completing the square is done just rearrange or do whatever you need and then you get the completing the square okay super super easy this completing the square is done easily okay now you need to arrange that back into the question so i have my seven which i suggest most of the time bring the number out so what is left here is just x plus 7 squared. Okay, to solve this question, of course, I could not move this anywhere but to use substituting method. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let u be x plus 7. So I do my du over the x and I will get 1. I differentiate that u and I get 1. And then I just kind of rearrange this because I know I need to change this dx because I want to substitute the u. So the dx will be du. Once that is done, I'm going to substitute it into the question. So 7 over 1 over the substitution of u is u squared. Okay, so I have already changed that. And then my dx will be du. So I'm done with the substituting. And now I can just bring this value up, u squared become u power of negative 2, and I can do this simple integration fast. Okay, so what's going to happen is I just integrate that, and then I rearrange it back into position and bring back my, introduce back my u inside the question. So this is going to be minus 7 over u is x plus 7 so that's going to be the answer that i need for this integration all right so this is question one let's move on to question two to do question two we need all these formulas okay these are the integration of inverse trigonometry formulas so we are going to apply the formula uh, also other than the in the completing the square so let's check out this question now this question looks very familiar very similar to question number one and then we are going to do apply the completing the square first okay so after we have completed the square <laughs> is there a word for that <laughs> completing the square once we have done the completing the square okay like just now i say we will bring the number we will divide by 2 and put the number. The black other ones we prepare first. The minus is a must. 
and then we copy the plus of 37 and then I will take this number and I square it and write in this position okay so I'm done with the completing the square so I need to arrange this because there's a number behind that 36 plus negative 36 plus 37 so I have a number there so I'm going to take this and put back into the question okay so it will end up like this so looking at after I have completed the square okay after I've done the completing the square so I noticed that I could not move anymore okay this question I could not move anymore so I need to do substituting technique so I'm going to use the substitute introduce the substitution for x minus 1 okay so I'm going to substitute u equals to x minus 6 sorry x minus 6 over there and I'm going to differentiate that for a while okay so the u over the x I differentiate this one I will get 1 and then I will arrange because I need to get rid of dx because I want to do the subs the integration for du okay so I'm going to substitute everything in so that it will be u squared plus 1 du okay so that is done so once I've done the substituting then I need to recognize which formula that I need to use after this so basically, I'm going to use this formula, which is the inverse trigo formula. Okay, the integration of this will give me an inverse trigo. So with that, I can actually straight away plot in. So this is u squared plus 1. So u squared plus 1. So I can plot in the formula tangent inverse u. Okay, so or the arch of tangent for u. So I will put it in. And then I need to change this placing of u with the one that I, I substitute just now. So it's x minus 6. So voila, the answer is out. Simple, right? This is by using combination of uh, completing the square and the formula for integration of inverse trigo. Okay, the integration for this one, which get inverse trigo or the arch of tangent. Okay, the arch of uh, trigo. Well, that is question number two. And we will move on to question number three. So in this question number three, again, I'm going to do this uh, uh, completing the square first because I couldn't move any from anywhere with this question. So I'm going to do the completing the square and adjust it. So this part over here. I say just divide it and put it there and then take the answer, square it and put over there. Then my completing the square need to be adjusted and it is ready. Once it's ready, I write them back into the question. Okay, I need to put them back into the question. And then I will adjust this part over here. So I will put this into four squared. Okay. Once I already arranged this nicely, which that's why in integration you need to know the format of the question. Okay, I told you in the uh, live show the other day, you need to make sure that you know the format of the question because the more you do, the more you will recognize which format goes with which formula. Okay, now. Once I recognize that, I know I will need to get rid of this part over here. So I'm going to change it to uh, using the substituting technique where I substitute x minus 3 and I'm going to like adjust with this formula later. So I'm going to di differentiate my du and get something like this. And I'm going to adjust the formula to the format that I want. The 16, I just bring it outside because numbers, uh, when you integrate numbers, uh, just bring it outside. So what is left is exactly the same format like the arch tangent formula that I have on top here. Okay, so I'm going to apply it. So I have my a squared, which is 4. Okay, so it's 4 squared. And then I'm going to put it inside the formula, just directly from the formula. So you need to memorize the formula. Is The formula is not given in the STPM paper. So you need to make sure you memorize it well. Okay, so and recognize the format of the question. Okay, now once I'm done, 
this part over here is not good okay so i need to replace u with x minus 3 over here so i'm going to put in the values and then voila i'm done all right so this is question number three let's move on now in this question looks complicated there's a square over there so i can recognize it from the question that i the formulas of course you have to memorize the formulas before you can recognize the question what technique you need to use so before i can do this i need to make sure i have a completing the square for this part over here the square root okay so doing completing the square you have to remember the x squared always need to be positive so to start with this question i need to pull the negative out so i need to do when i do the adjustment the time that includes the negative so I, the, all these black color ones, I will copy and then I will take whatever number in front of x, I'm going to divide by 2 and take the answer, square it and write it at the side. So that one is the technique of completing the square the fast way. Okay, once that is done, then I need to adjust and make sure you put back this negative into your answer. Okay, now I can rearrange my equation. So according to the formula that I want to use is number minus x squared. So I'm going to arrange that nicely. So I have my number, which is 2 squared. Okay, and then I'm going to minus with the one behind because there is a minus over there. So I'm going to change it behind here. Okay, the format is all ready. Now I'm ready to integrate. Okay, so follow this formula over here. This top formula is the arch of sine formula. Uh, after I integrate this format, it's going to change to the arch of sine. Okay, so before that, I need a A. So I'm going to let U become X plus 1. And that will give me something like this after I differentiate it. And that's the position that I'm going to change for the dx. So I change everything and the format looks exactly like what I want in the top part there. So now I can do the integration by using this formula. And the answer is going to be h sine or the inverse of sine. Okay. Uh, if you have not seen the video about the trigonometry inverse trigo, you can check it out uh, inside the list, inside the playlist for SAM1. Okay. All right. Um, SAM1 or differentiation of inverse, uh, differentiation of uh, inverse trigo. Also, I have talked about this inverse thing. Okay. The arch of trigonometry. Okay, so I'm going to apply the formula directly. And of course, this u, I need to change back to what I need. So what I need is x u equals to x plus 1. So I need to change it back into the correct position. And then I'm done. Okay, so this is the answers for the four questions inside my pdf yes the, talking about the pdf i have left the if you don't if you uh you want to try the question first you can check out the pdf inside the description box all right so i will see you in my next video please subscribe it is free okay it is free to subscribe and if you like this video please hit the like button Okay, if this video is helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe because I can't like every time I post a video, I cannot like PM your teachers and tell them, yeah, I have already got your uh, new video. Can you please check out, uh, ask your students to check it out. So I do not want to disturb your teacher. So please hit the subscribe button so that and the notification. So whenever I have a new video, you will know it hand okay that's all bye see you in my next video bye bye